Arcade Heroes. Hey everyone, it's Adam with ArcadeHeroes.com and I'm trying out something else here where I've got my microphone attached to my camera, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, here's the Sega booth, so you can see, apart from the games, the giant balloon that they have. And so right up front they've got Mission Impossible Arcade, they call it the deluxe version, where you can say upright, but this one is probably going to be a lot easier to find than the super deluxe version, which is not here. And the gameplay is pretty much the same, although you don't have the uh, rivalry going on with the four players like in the super deluxe version. This also has the uh, rumble floor there, kind of like the old Sega 90s games like LA Machine Guns. And then we got Men in Black, or just MIB. So I've got footage of this, but very snazzy cabinet. And it even has the, uh, I forget what that's called right there, the, the neuro thing. <laughs> and very nice looking cabinet. Cool infinity mirror there. But it is a redemption game, so it plays like a redemption game, as you would expect. Got some prize machines. They got a new uh, uh, merchandiser there, the power points. They got the Capto Crane power locker. And here we have Jet Blaster by Wallop and Sega. Uh, this one, it, yeah, I, I played it already. And oops. Uh, <laughs> the motion on this is very good. It really feels like you're on a jet ski on water has that bouncing effect that you get with a real water, personal watercraft if you don't want to call it a jet ski. But uh, graphics aren't the best, like H2 Overdrive almost seems a little bit better, but uh, still it's fine and it's fun. Uh, better to play with two people of course. Uh, you got Power Roll, their popular redemption game. We got Hot Racers over here, I have one of these. Yeah, it's a kid's game, but it does so freaking well at my arcade, so very happy with that one. Uh, we got Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Arcade Edition. This is, of course, for Tokyo 2020. But if you haven't seen this one, I have footage of this on my channel, and there, it, the uh, 2016 version had the big joysticks. This one just has buttons, so it's a lot less maintenance heavy. Uh, you also have the uh, Sonic Sports Basketball for Kids, a Daytona over there single. We have right here VR Agent. So this was developed by Three Mind Wave who also developed ATV Slam for Sega and so now they're just bringing this here and as far as I'm aware this is the first time that Sega has ever done an arcade VR release and so I, I played this yesterday and I'll, I'll have footage of this separately on the channel but I was surprised by it. I mean, it's a first-person shooter, pretty much. Um, so it gives you a lot more freedom than your typical light gun rail shooter, as you can see there. Uh, only thing is, is that holding that up to your face, you have to really keep it at the right angle or right position. Otherwise, it goes out of focus a little bit. I mean, it's still playable, but I also found that playing with the face mask, I tried that at first, and it just... The, the face mask would come down and get in my way, so I preferred playing it without that. But uh, yeah, this is coming out. And so is the new uh, ATV Slam standard version. So the only difference on this one is the seat. So this one, it's a fixed seat. And well, it also has a little bit smaller cabinet. The deluxe version, the cabinet's like up there <laughs> in height. It's pretty tall. But otherwise, the gameplay is the same. And then we have Pixel Chase. So yeah, that is the Sega booth at IAPA 2021. I think they're one of the manufacturers that's shown off the most new product here. And so a lot of this stuff will be available now or available soon. But of course, right now, shipping on anything is difficult. So if you're interested in getting these games for your arcade or hope that your local arcade picks it up, you may have to wait. You want to order now if there's anything that you really want.
that's uh thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video